Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over Miss Becky here. We haven't done a video for her, excuse me, for her in a while. Uh, mainly because we've just been collecting parts since February here. I broke the car at the drag strip, as you guys have seen, maybe, maybe not. Go check out a video that I have of it. I launched the drag strip and I believe I just shattered the whole rear end of it. Luckily, I just bought a trailer. Yeah, I have a couple videos on that as well. Go watch them. So let's start with uh, the exterior of the car, what I am what I am going to be changing. So first, you guys see I do have this AR, I think it's the APR Racing carbon fiber splitter. That's going to be going on. I just have it sitting here. I have all the hardware and everything for it ready to go. I did buy it used. I got it for a great deal. I definitely couldn't pass up on it. Um, I have the headlights at, like I told you, they are at a local place called LED Integrations. He's doing some crazy custom stuff with the headlights. That'll have to be shown here soon. I'm just waiting on him to get a couple things straightened out, and he'll be over here, and I'll have a full install video on that, and we'll go over them when they get here. I have a set of, of uh, Carbon Creations GT350 style badgeless fenders. So that's just little weight reduction. I have the carbon fiber inserts for the hoods, carbon fiber, uh, the mirror caps, and I also have a carbon fiber creations, no, excuse me, carbon creations rear deck lid. That's gonna look very good on the car. That, that was one of them, them key pieces that I just had to have. Uh, I also got a set of Rohana RC7 wheels that we put on the Shelby because we had a little incident with one of the Shelby tires. Let's see, they are a 20 by 11 in the rear with a plus 28 offset and a 315. The front is a plus 23 offset with a 275 and that, that wheel is a 20 by nine. I believe it's gonna stand out very good on Becky. These are just her show wheels. Uh, those aren't gonna be on her all the time, especially with uh, what we have going on underneath the hood. I uh, will add a comment while we're in here. These wheels will not fit the Shelby. The back's too big. Um, but as Devin said, it was just a temporary because we had an incident with the Shelby. We have a set of drag wheels out in the shop for her. Uh, I have a full brake conversion coming. Oh, excuse me. I have a full brake conversion that I have already purchased. I bought it back when I did the clutch. I was going to do the clutch and do the big brakes on it, but I didn't have a set of slicks. Plus, it was November. I figured, hey, I'll just wait, do the brake conversion later, and then I decided to go full retard and go a little crazy with it. So that's pretty much everything for cosmetics on the outside of the car. Let's move to the inside. We have purchased a set of Braum racing seats. I got a set of Braum racing harnesses, a Watson 4-point cage that's going to be mounted in there. I'm going to do the rear, a, a rear seat delete. I'm not sure if I'm going to go purchase one yet or not. I know there's a bunch of them on the market, carbon fiber. I know some that are like Alcantara or, you know, just plain. I'm thinking about maybe making one myself. Um, I'm not really sure on that yet. Let's see. I do have to modify the center console for the new trans. Uh, that's really all I got going on for the inside. I'm going to actually just keep most of it stock on the inside. I actually like the way that, the, that the, the factory interior looks. I might change the steering wheel here later, but I pretty much, that's all I have going on for the inside. Now, the main part of Becky here, I've been collecting most of the parts for. I told you that I had broke, I believe I broke the rear end out of it, and I just went ahead and bought a bunch of things to go crazy with it. We have a full 9-inch conversion from G-Force with their G-Force Renegade axles. We've got, let's see, full BMR suspension from front to back. I've got Viking coilovers front, for the front. I have a, the Viking dual adjustable shocks for the rear. Oh, there also I got the Viking, no, they're, they're the BMR lowering springs. Well, let's see. And by the little things with BMR, he means like he beefed up the tie rods and with um, um, the yep. jacking rails, uh, some of the struts, mm -hmm. parachute mount. Yep, they have a set of subframe connectors that I've got as well. Got the little tow links. Anything that was adjustable or anything that had to deal with the suspension of the car, 
I got it all from BMR. Dion is one heck of a guy. He hooked me up pretty good on it all. Thank you, Dion. Let's see, I also I got a uh, TH400 automatic transmission for it. It's a three-speed, and I did do a double neutral. So that way, you know, you go three, two, one, throw it into neutral, and it goes along with the BMR parachute mount that just uh, just got released earlier this year. So that's the so we got engine, rear end. No, excuse me. We got transmission, rear end, all the suspension parts, and we went ahead and got a full built MMR. It is the it's a forged long block. It's a 2,000 horsepower long block. That's going to be one heck of a thing. I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't showed anybody the video of it because, like I said, it hasn't 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 showed up yet. Now that's not BMR. Excuse me, MMR spark. <laughs> fart. <laughs> MMR's fart. It's me. MMR, MMR's fault. Due to this corona stuff, parts are hard to get, parts are hard to make. You know, so with a lot of places closed down, especially in California and across the United States, which is where I believe everything is coming from the is a full United States build, which is, in my opinion, fantastic. Go USA. That's When that shows up, I have a, the full spec built list from them. I'm going to go over. We'll do that in another video. I, to be able to get to that 2,000 horsepower, in my opinion, I decided to go turbo. I purchased a 94 millimeter Garrett single turbo. Somehow, some way, we're going to fit it underneath the hood of that thing and still run inter, uh, a radiator, intercooler. I've got cooling expansion tanks that I've got to run. Uh, I've got a fuel cell for it. Uh, just. It's a bunch of little pieces. A bunch of little pieces that it's all going to add up and it's going to come to hopefully 1600, 1800 horsepower drag build. Uh, the transmission uh, came from JCP Racing. Oh, yeah, JCP Racing has built the transmission. It's a TH400. It's a fully built billet input, billet output, billet everything. I'll go over a full list of it once we get it into the car. Uh, I, ha I have it. I have it. We got it about a week or two ago. I'm waiting on a couple of pieces from him that were just getting powder coated, like the transmission cross member, um, and just a couple of odds and end pieces from him. Uh, it's in the in our four wheeler barn, just sitting out of the way for now. Awesome. So that's pretty much all I've got for this video. I'm sure I'm missing a couple of pieces in there. If anybody has any questions, about anything that I've gone on with the car or maybe something that you fear about if I'm going to be doing to the car, leave it down in the comments below and I'll make sure that I respond as, as quick as I've seen it. Let's see, I'd like to thank Dion Forbes at BMR Suspension. I'd like to thank Eric, I can't remember his last name, Eric at JPC Racing. I'd like to thank Garrett at, excuse me, I'd like to thank Greg at Motion Motorsports Racing, which is MMR. They have kept me up to date on all the build. I've got tons and tons of pictures of it up until this point, which I will show in the build video once I get the motor in. It should be here soon. I talked to him earlier this week, and he said he was just waiting on a couple pieces to be thrown on top, and he should be shipping it out here real soon. They've got great customer service out of all of the people that I've dealt with over all of the companies that I've purchased from. Thank you all for helping me build this dream of mine. If anybody has any questions or any comments, leave them down below. Thank you all for watching. Y'all are